Hey guys, Krista here again, aka Rehmanista, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about back, back workouts, exercises you can do to tone, firm, strengthen your back while in quarantine at home. Bro, mommy falling like a waterfall. Now, a couple things. Make sure you guys warm up before you get into this workout. Uh, another thing, I did use some minimal equipment at home, including like a cane, like a stick, and then also two large containers full of water to help with this workout. All right, so we're literally gonna take it slow, and this is, this is the first exercise you should do after warming up, but this is also a good way to warm up as well. This is called a good morning exercise. So you're literally bending forward, getting the head, and chest below the hips keeping the back straight when you come down your knees should be bent very so slightly your heels should be on the ground your feet shoulder width apart and literally all you're doing is kind of just stretching that lower back stretching those hamstrings stretching the calf muscle because this is more of like a warm-up kind of thing and you're not really in the gym doing good mornings and I wouldn't advise if you're a beginner to do good mornings with a lot of weight without supervision i would just treat this as a warm-up exercise more so doing it like maybe three sets time yourself for 30 seconds to one minute and you will definitely feel warm afterwards if you haven't really given your all in your warm-up so the next exercise we're going to get into is basically called snow angels and what you're going to do is take two two hands and literally go back and forth simultaneously bringing them back and forth together almost kind of like a swimming sort of movement keeping that head up chest off the ground as best as you can and literally um, working those back upper muscles with this exercise Then right after that, we get into single arm snow angels. But I think this looks more like freestyle if you're, you know, if you know your swimming strokes and stuff like that. Literally doing the same thing, keeping the chest off the ground, keeping that head nice and level. So this one I actually made up. It's a variation of an exercise that I do in the gym with dumbbells and I call it gliders. Literally bringing those hands from the top of your head down to your hips, keeping a nice even movement, keeping those hands off the floor. You're squeezing your shoulder blades together as you bring them down. It's a nice little burn right after those snow angels. Then we're gonna get into Superman's just using your arms only and literally bringing them up off the floor, bringing that chest really off the floor, almost where your diaphragm starts, you should be literally lifting that part off the floor. Make sure to rest in between the exercises. The next exercise is going to be back extensions, literally bringing that chest up off the floor, hands behind the head, squeezing the shoulder blades together as you come up. We're gonna go back into back extensions again. This time we're alternating, so each side is a rep. So one, one, basically. Um, and you're literally squeezing those shoulder blades together as you come up and bring that head up off the floor. So next thing is basically a modified push-up and you just literally push yourself up from the floor without moving your legs. Legs stay stationary on the ground. Try to keep your head level with your body. Don't do what I'm doing right now in this video. I'm literally stacking my shoulders and my neck. But I want you guys to keep your eyes up and look forward as you do this. Now before we really get into this exercise, I want you to practice the form. So grab your stick, cane, whatever. You can even do this without it, but you're, this is basically a bent over row. So I want you guys to practice keeping a straight back, slightly bent knees and bringing and rowing into your chest, squeezing the shoulder blades behind. 
Now I'm going to use these just because I want a little bit of a push, but you guys do not have to use heavy water containers. You can get something smaller, fill it halfway up, you could fill it a quarter way up, whatever um, you can handle, use that, but don't try to um, overdo it. So yes, form first, literally bending at the hip, keeping the back straight, head forward, chest open, knees slightly bent before you get into actually doing this exercise. So I'm just gonna use one container because I can't do two at the same time. So literally bringing it up, bending at the hip, slight bend in the knees, one fluid motion, do not lock your knees. So that was it. If you made it this far, you have done. And please, I just had a few please, more things please. to say. Know your levels of, in, in terms of endurance. If you need to rest, rest. You should not be feeling dizzy. You should not be feeling like you wanna faint. You should not be feeling all of the above, all the above. Um, you should also have water nearby. So make sure you have at least a glass of water or something nearby so you can take sips. Um, between exercises what I like to do I know this is not a, a typical kind of workout sequence I'm basically showing you what to do but what you can do is you can actually um, do one set of this entire video and then repeat it if you want um, an extra kind of oomph to your workout in fact I would recommend doing minimum two sets of all the entire exercise series in this video. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should do more videos, if you think I should even um, do different body parts, just let me know. Um, yeah, and anyways guys, be safe, stay safe, love you. Thanks for tuning in, bye.